I mean, my belief as, a, as an artist is that is that if the closer you get to the person or the community who you're making a play about, the better the work. I mean, I think this is wrong, this idea that, oh, you have to keep this sort of, you know, objective distance. I, I just don't... I don't think that that actually makes for a great play. I think the interesting thing is Lindy's relationship to these letters. And so I want to get your voice exactly right. I mean, one of the things that's interesting to me is people often would say to me, you know, oh, a lot of the letters are the same. You know, we talked about that thing of, of how, like Lindy would call the nasty letters the, the comic relief. And I was like, like, comic relief. Some of this stuff is vile, absolutely vile. You know, and, and that was great because you were a guide for me. You know, I, I didn't ask you how to deal with it. I just watched the way you dealt with it. I watched the way you dealt with the letters. I watched the way what you said about it. And you were like my guide to how to feel about this because it's, it, is, it is very full of pain and emotion, that collection. There's a lot of... There's a lot of people's stories of troubles. There's a lot of, you know, that kind of thing in there. And so I needed, a, I needed like a guide, a spiritual guide, as it were, to how, how to cope with this, how to deal with this. And so that was really interesting to me that you said, oh, this is the comic relief. And then by the time I got to the point where I was reading, you know, pious platitude after platitude, <laughs> I was like, these are the comic relief. <laughs> not, just, not just as an attitude thing, but this is the way to deal with it. You know, yeah. this is great. Did you otherwise find that? it's too confronting. That's right, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, some of them are, and people told me their own personal stories, some of which are just absolutely tragic. And you get ones that are um, emotionally invented. Um, you know, some of us... I'm a victim, so everything I see is about me and poor me. And it may not have been, it may have had absolutely nothing to do with you, but that's the way you chose to view it. And so you get them and they're so coloured and it's so obvious to somebody else looking at them. Um, whereas there's a whole other category where something terrible's happened and the person is just saying, well, this and this and this happened. I found it hard to cope and, you know, I'm battling through it. These sorts of things happen all the time and a little bit of guidance, if you've got any tips for me, I'd appreciate. And, you know, they really grab you by the throat, whereas the, oh dear, I'm such a victim, you think, get over yourself.